uh, we are back again with a new Morton Moore moment. And this week, or this episode, we have a question to answer from a viewer. Yes. So, um, forgive me, as always, I'm going to read from um, the email that they sent. You alright there? I'm good. You know, I'm going to unbutton my jacket, actually. But anyway, Ooh, Oh, hold on. That's it's contradicting done. your video. A video last time. Not really. What was re- re- back, take, um, sorry, repeat what I said last time. You said that you do with your your high double breasted. No, I said if it's fit, if it's too fitted, yeah, then you unbutton it. That was the rule. Who else remembers that rule? So the way we do our double breasted suits now, they're very very fitted. They're quite fitted. In fact, some more fitted than others. Some looser than others. Now, the problem you might face is that if it's too fitted, sitting down and standing up, standing back up over some time, you're the, you're going to pop your buns off. Now, the solution. Personally, me, when I have my extra fitted double breasted suits, I am buttoning it when I sit down. I actually do. I know the etiquette is bad. It is bad etiquette, but I do it anyway because I want to preserve my suit. Now, when I have wear my double breasted suit that has a bit more room in it, I don't touch it. That's my opinion. If okay. it's too fitted, you unbutton it. But I thought but you, I remember you, you saying. I thought I remember you saying that with your high double breasted, you don't unbutton it. This is too fitted now. I guess I must have put on some pounds. It's too okay, fitted. Cool. Either way, you know the rules. If it's too fitted, you unbutton it. All right, all right. Let's try to catch him out. I guess, oh. I guess not. All right, cool. This question today comes all the way from Arizona. So it says, hello, gentlemen. First and foremost, I love your content on YouTube. Also appreciate your time in reading my message, which we are doing right now. Um, my first question or my question is... When is it acceptable to fully button a button-down shirt without a tie to include a top button? The question applies to dress shirts, blouses, as well as polo shirts. Although I don't wear ties with polo shirts, for some shirts I really like how they look when they are completely buttoned, but I want to gain your perspectives. Alright, cool. Well, thank you to Chris all the way from Arizona and Josh... Give us your thoughts. Hi, Chris. From Arizona. Good to make your acquaintance. Oh, no, for, thank you for watching our videos. Yeah. Look, I appreciate every single view you've given us. All but, the support. Um, yeah, so um, listen. I like the look. I like the look. I call it an air tie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I call it the air tie. I like the look of it. So pretty much, I mean, when is it appropriate? I tend to wear it for the less formal occasions. Like where I tend to see it as well, to be fair, is I tend to dub it the Shoreditch look. So you tend to find guys that are quite trendy, guys that are quite cool, guys that would, I don't know, I'm trying to assume like Arizona. Because he won't know what I don't know Arizona, is. so I'm just trying to think like, is it like Greenwich Village in America, like Greenwich Village in New York area, like them type of yuppie type, like packing dish. Them, them type, type of, I don't even know, them type of preppy type of looks. They tend to go for it at the old um, button up to the very top. Yeah. It literally is um, the preppy look. Indie bands, yeah. indie p- people like this to indie music, that type of thing. But I, I like the look. I think it's pretty cool. I just think it's just a le- I think it's in between completely casual and completely formal. All it is is pretty much, for example, look, even I would even wear it with this outfit here. So, for example, on my commute in today, I didn't have this tie on. I was like this. So air tie, like that. But all of a sudden, you can see how it transforms my look. It just makes it just that little bit more cooler. But at the same time, casual. But at the same time, it's not business. So, for example, if I'm going into a business meeting, this would not be appropriate. It just wouldn't. However, if I was going to go for, I don't know, like a dinner after work, I think this would look so cool. Personally, but it's all a personal preference thing. So when you ask, when is it appropriate... I think it's really up to you in in the majority of cases because it is a personal preference. However, I would say steer clear from doing it out of biz- anything to do with business if you work in the corporate arena. If you work in media all day long. I say media, but you know, media type jobs. You know, where they wear trainers and they have bloody donut machines. And Is it donut machines? No. They have beer machines and beer fridges in the office. Yeah, them type of places. Yeah. But either way, when is it appropriate? Whenever you feel like it. As long as you're not in the corporate world. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, so personally, it's not a look that I ever wear. I've seen it. I like it. 
I like it with certain looks. I'm not a, really a fan when it's with a jacket and let's it's a sports coat. Um, and it's really kind of more on the casual side, personally. Um, however, I would wear it with a polo top. Like, I would wear a polo top and button it all the way up. I've done that in the past. I don't do it with the shirts. And again, as Joshua said, it's a personal preference. I've seen guys do it, and it looks it looks well. I, I like the look on certain people. It's just not something that I think works for me. So, yeah, it's really about where you feel comfortable wearing it. But I, I would avoid business occasions again. There you have it. All right. So, guys, any questions and queries, don't forget, send them to us at ask at com. Once again, please send it to ask at com and not info at com. Obviously, again, you can leave any questions in the comments below and we'll try and get back to those as soon as possible too. Follow us on all of our social media channels so you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, as well as YouTube. And don't forget to share, like, and again, as we said already, comment. All right. Until next time, guys and ladies. Cool.